What is going on everyone? It's Inuyasha's here. Well, we're going over our few money-making methods in Pokemon Legends that I would recommend for the average player. There's going to be stuff for beginners and stuff for people a bit further along into the game. The first thing we're going to go over are quests, which you can start doing from the very start of the game, so I figured I'd put it at the start of the guide. Numio has made a very lovely guide, and it's posted in the forums. I'm going to put an annotation so you can click anywhere in this video during this part and it will take you right to our guide. A link to it will also be in the description. The first thing I'm going to go over is for newer players. On Route 1 you'll come across a cave. You can't miss it, I promise. Once you go inside, you're going to want to start beating up on some Zubats. They have a chance at dropping you an item called Rock Presents, and after you collect a few of these, you can turn them into the guy in yellow. You have a chance of getting 200 coins, 2 Pokeballs, or nothing. This is a very good way to get up a stash of Pokeballs and some coins for yourself when you're first starting off. The next thing we're going to go over is the Growlithe minigame in Sandmarsh Town. This is the only minigame that's free and it's pretty straightforward. We're going to be playing it on hard difficulty and all you got to do is not get spotted by the Arcanine or the Growlithe while making your way to the other side of the level. There are two possible prizes you can get when you reach the other side. The most common one will be game tickets, which are used whenever you want to play any of the other mini games. If you're lucky, you'll get yourself a big nugget. The big nuggets can be exchanged for 7k coins in the upper left corner of Sandmarsh Town. You can use your game tickets to play the other mini games, or you can sell them directly. If you wanted to sell them directly, I suggest opening up another tab going to the search bar in the top left, typing in game ticket, and it'll pull up the personal shop for all players selling game tickets. It's going to be sorted by the lowest price, so if you wanted to undercut them to sell your tickets faster, you could do that. Or you can just match them, or whatever you decide. You're going to know roughly what they're going for, and you can decide what's best for you. If you choose to use your game tickets on another mini game. The game I suggest you going to is the Rock minigame. It's going to be in the upper left corner of the desert and I'm going to run to it really quick to show you where it's at. And now that you're here, the minigame is really straightforward. You're just going to talk to this man, then go look under a rock. You can get all sorts of prizes from here, including all different types of fossils. You can get rare bones and pearls, which can be taken to a safari zone to get pokey food. Or you can get straight up coins. You can get all the way up to 10k coins when looking under a rock. And what you're really going to be making your money on is going to be nuggets. You can take nuggets to Old Pine Town and exchange them there for 5k each. In Old Pine Town, you're just going to head south to the building under the police station. Once inside, you're going to talk to the lady to the left and she'll give you your 5k coins for your nuggets. The last method I'm going to go over is breeding. Not going to go into too many details, but the daycare is located on Route 3. And what you're really going to be looking for is the right nature and IVs on a Pokemon to really get some value out of them. If you need to learn more about breeding, I'm going to leave a link to Arrow's breeding guide in the forums. And if you need to learn more about natures and IVs, my video guide will be right there on the right. Thank you guys so much for watching the video, I really hope you enjoyed. If you did, please drop a like, comment, subscribe, share, all of that good stuff. It really does help out and I really do appreciate it. You all take care and have a wonderful day.